Welcome to Journeys of Clay and Fire, an exhibition presented by the Charles Wallace India Trust and supported by the British Council's India UK Together Season of Culture. Journeys of Clay and Fire features seven ceramic artists from India who have the opportunity to study in the UK under the Charles Wallace India Trust Art Scholarship alongside two British Council projects in craft development. My name is Christine Michael and I would like to take you on this curator's walk at this very beautiful exhibition at the British Council here in Delhi. I see Ella Mukherjee's installation titled Meanderings as symbolic of the creative journeys and interactions between India and the UK, which have enabled the complete development of a new artistic language. Ella's series, Tribute to a Shared Past, refers to the rich heritage of Indian architecture and is a tribute to its diverse influences on the syncretic culture that we have inherited today. Shirley Bhatnagar recreates the intermingling of the two cultures in her own way, using a narrative inspired by the book The White Mughals by William Dalrymple. Her work is infused with humour to comment on social and political issues. Exploring form and texture using the forces of nature, Abhay Pandit recreates the forces of the sea terrain in his acutely textured works. His time in the UK had a very strong impact on his aesthetic language and it gave him an international dimension and also perspective. The artist Gukan Raj is inspired by the action of fire, like a volcano with lava flowing and melting, like air, like a cyclone in the full force of a storm, or earthquakes where the land masses move and shift and the scudding monsoon clouds in the sky. Shitanshu Moria shares that his experience in the UK opened up new ways of thinking and working such as this idea of his of 3D sketching, as seen in his series called The Sketchbook. He calls his work on fossil forms a visual evidence of pre-existing thoughts. Shruti Bansal deals with the materiality of thoughts in her series Memoirs of Transformation, where she has started exploring the metaphorical nature of containment and transformation as it affects life and death. Neha Kucharkar's art process involves both performance, object making, as well as film. Her work Weightlifter documents a difficult phase in her life, recording the guilt and struggle of breathing as the world collapses around her. In contrast with the transnational focus of the Charles Wallace India Trust, the Council's two Crafting Futures projects focuses on strengthening the hereditary pottery communities, Gundiyali and also Baswa, by fostering a creative dialogue between design institutions in India and the UK, leading to innovative solutions. Looking at the Gundiyali craft cluster as an experiential hub, the project led by Design Innovation and Craft Resource Centre, SEPT University, and the British Ceramics Biennale celebrates the spirit of the individual makers, the community, and their craft practice as a process, not only as a tangible outcome. The partnership between the Indian Institute of Crafts and Design and the West Dean College of Arts and Conservation focuses on enhancing the design of garden wares for exploring new markets and on improving kiln technology of the potters of Baswa, Rajasthan. Journeys of clay and fire show diverse practices in the realm of contemporary ceramics and the revival of artisanal pottery for sustainable livelihoods. Both continue to have a profound effect on both urban and rural spaces. I sincerely hope you will be able to visit.